Hello, this is Chase Pelagi. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And today we're going to take a look at the Snake Eyes sights by Dead Ringer. Uh, first of all, I just want to say quickly thank you to Butts Gun Sales for being nice enough to lend this Glock 35 MOS to me so I could shoot it and check these sights out uh, as well as the gun. But uh, anyway, quickly, who are these sights for? Now, they're going to be a viable option for those looking for a defensive sight. Now, these are obviously not target sights, but I would say they are relatively versatile. Now, they were designed especially for quick, quick sight acquisition as well as quickly placing combat accurate shots. Okay? Now, uh, for those of you who are used to a standard 3 dot sight picture or even just standard Glock sights or something, this will probably point very naturally to you. As soon as you bring this up to your eye, that front sight will naturally go somewhere inside that big ring there, okay? Now, uh, quickly, we'll just pretend like uh, this crosshair is what we are aiming at, and we'll um, also pretend that we're about five yards away, okay? Now, um, let's say you, you raise your gun up quickly, that front sight, it isn't uh, completely leveled. Uh, it's down here, but it's still inside the periphery of that ring, okay? You fire one off. Um, it should be about three inches low. This should be a six by six inch square here, uh, this dark piece. It's going to be down here somewhere. So that is still a combat effective shot, which is nice, okay? So, um, like I was saying, quick side acquisition. What um, One thing that you'll notice is if you look at that orange part there, you'll see those little prongs that are just going to further aid in lining that, that front side up as well. Or um, also, the rear sights, you can just use those too, and it's going to be just like a standard three-dot sight. Now, uh, you'll notice, and obviously there's going to be more... Um, uh, just more of an, a margin for error on both sides because you have this huge ring. Um, however, if you really had to bear down and uh, get accuracy, I think you could do that as well. So that's what's nice. Now if we look at the side profile here, uh, at first glance it looks like you're getting a little more sight radius here, but if you look at the front sight, they have it way back here. Now I don't know why they did that. It just looks like they could have taken a advantage at uh, you know more sight radius, but anyway, that's that's the way they did it. So these uh, sights, the um, the outer housing anyway, is made of out of an aircraft grade aluminum. Okay, now I don't know exactly what that means. I would uh, suppose that it just kind of speaks to its durability. But what is nice about these sights is they're going to work well in the daylight as well as uh, low light. So you can see this um, this orange piece in there. That's going to be like a, a fiber optic. So it's going to be collecting all the uh, the light, and um, you know just giving you a, a I guess a brighter picture. Or in low light, you are going to have these tritium vials, which are in the rear as well as that front sight. Now you can get these a few different ways. If you want to uh, forfeit the uh, the tritium in the rear. You can certainly do that, um, you know, and just keep the, the, the front sight with tritium. Uh, you can also get uh, different color variations. Um, I believe you can get different color variations. And uh, frankly, I'd probably recommend it to, uh, you know, to put your focus on that sight, which is going to be important, okay? Now, uh, one problem, or perhaps two, that I potentially saw was... Um, when you have all this out here, okay, um, it I don't, I don't know, I suppose you could look at it as a place to snag. Now, that could be a good or a bad thing. The one thing is, though, is uh, the more you have up here, I would say it'd be easier to knock that rear sight uh, either completely out or, you know, jar it to the left or right there, okay? Um, on the On the plus side, though, it does give you a pretty stable ledge for one-handed manipulations if, you know, you practice those. Uh, this is not my firearm, as I, as I mentioned, so I was not able to test its, its durability. Um, initially, I thought it would be just kind of, I don't know, crude and unobtrusive, or obtrusive, I should say, uh, while, while carrying it or putting it in a holster. Um, actually, funny enough, I found that really wasn't the case, so it, it wasn't as big a deal as I thought it would be initially. 
But anyway, that's just kind of a, a quick look at these sites. I just thought they were kind of interesting and just yet another option in the huge world of uh, defensive sites. But anyway, that's a, the quick review of the Snake Eyes by Dead Ringer. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave your mark in the comment section as always. Uh, until next time, this is Chase Pelagi, signing off.